If the air inducer is doing its job of drawing air into the flushmate vessel at the beginning of the refill cycle, then check the cartridge assembly for any leaks. Here's how to do that. First, turn off the water and flush the toilet. Hold the actuator down until the vessel is completely drained. Take a cup of water and pour it into the cartridge housing area. Turn on the water supply. If you see a steady flow of bubbles coming from the center of the cartridge area, that means the cartridge has a leak and should be replaced. If you don't see any bubbles, and if you have a flush handle actuated system, you may have to disconnect the rod itself in order to remove the cartridge. Remember, you must first turn the water supply off and flush the toilet. Actuator rod removal is a simple procedure using a screwdriver. You only need to loosen this one to remove the rod. Remove the cartridge assembly by inserting the pliers handle like you see here, or with our Flushmate 2-in-1 wrench. Remove the cartridge assembly by turning in a counterclockwise direction. Once the cartridge assembly is removed, examine the exposed O-rings on the cartridge. Do you see any signs of wear or damage? If a defect is observed, replace the cartridge. Before you reinstall or replace the cartridge, first turn the water supply back on and allow the water to flow for about 30 seconds. If there is any debris that has been trapped inside the Flushmate unit, this should clear it away. Look inside the Flushmate unit to make sure there is no debris in the seal surface. Debris or defects in the seal surface can cause the unit to continue to run on. Then, reinstall the cartridge by turning the cartridge assembly counterclockwise while pushing down and applying pressure to avoid cross-threading. Stop when you hear an audible click caused by the threads engaging. Next, turn clockwise to install the cartridge back into position until a thread or two of the Flushmate unit are showing above the cartridge. Then, turn the water back on and keep slowly turning the cartridge in a clockwise direction until the water stops running into the toilet bowl. Once the water stops, no additional adjustments to the cartridge installation should be required. Install the flush rod if it was removed and make sure there is no interference and the proper adjustments to actuator is made. The actuator also may need to be adjusted if you have a push button model. In either case, the proper clearance between the flush rod or push button to the actuator is important to ensure proper flushing actuation. There may be rare situations where this service action does not stop the water from running. This may be a sign that you need to replace the cartridge assembly itself.